Today I'm going to share a message with us. I probably ain't got that long to share it with you. But it's the message of salvation. It's the message of Jesus Christ who came and laid down His life on the cross for the sins of the world that we might find forgiveness for our sins. It's the message that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son that whosoever should believe in Him that they should not perish but that they should have everlasting life. My friends, God is offering everlasting life to all those who are willing to repent and humble them th themselves and come to the Lord Jesus Christ. God is extending an invitation of salvation to all those who are willing to repent. But you must be willing to come, my friends. If not, you are going to die a sinner and you're going to go to hell. This is the message of the Bible. It's the message of salvation that God has sent a Savior for us to save us from the judgment of sin. But we must be willing to repent. We must be willing to come to the mercy seat of God while there's still time, my friends. Because time is running out. Time is against us all. And today we are pleading with you today to come to the Lord Jesus Christ. To humble yourself and come to the mercy seat of God while there is still time, my friends. For God has sent His Son into the world, not to condemn the world, but that the world through Him might be saved. See, God has sent His Son Jesus into the world as a Savior. Because the world is under judgment. There is a judgment over every single person because of sin, my friends. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. All have sinned and broken God's law. We are all in need of a Savior. And there is only one Savior and it is Jesus, my friends. There is only one salvation and it comes through Jesus. Jesus is the narrow way that leads to life. Jesus is the narrow way that leads to salvation. Jesus is your only means of redemption for your soul, my friends. Without the saving grace of Jesus Christ, you're going to go to hell. When you die here without forgiveness of your sins, my friend, you're going to go to hell. You're going to face the judgment. And my friends, your sufferings will be for eternity. There will be weeping and gnashing and wailing of teeth for all those who die without the forgiveness that comes through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today, while you hear this message, you can humble yourselves. Today, while you hear this message today, you don't have to harden your heart. You don't have to hold on to anger. You don't have to hold on to bitterness and let bitterness keep you from receiving the salvation of God. You can come to the Lord today and you can receive salvation. You can be set free by the power of the Lord Jesus Christ. For who the Son of Man sets free, they are free indeed. God is offering freedom to all those who are willing to come. If you are oppressed by the devil, come and we will pray for you. If you are depressed by the devil, come here and we will pray for you. God is looking to set the people free through his son, Jesus Christ. But you must be willing to come. God offers salvation. For there is no other name given amongst men that we must be saved, but only through Jesus Jesus died for our sins. Jesus laid his life down on the cross. Jesus was tortured so that we can find redemption. Jesus died and on the third day he was resurrected. Our sins brought Jesus to the cross. 
Our rebellion brought Jesus to the cross. And God, in his love and mercy, he sent his son Jesus for us so that we can be saved. Jesus Christ is a demonstration of God's love. The cross is a demonstration of God's love. God demonstrated his love towards us that while we was yet sinners, Jesus Christ came and died for us. Jesus Christ came and died for the drunkard so that the drunkard can turn and repent and find salvation for his soul. Jesus died and shed his blood for the homosexuals so that the homosexuals could repent and find salvation for their soul. Jesus Christ, he died for the idolater so that that idolater can repent and find salvation for his soul. Jesus Christ, he laid his life down for the drug addicts so that the drug addicts couldn't repent and find salvation for their soul. But my friends, you must recognize that you are a sinner. You must recognize that you are bound. And humble yourself and come to the Lord and recognize that you are a sinner. Be convicted of your sins and godly sorrow, knowing that you have sinned against a holy God. And come to the mercy seat of Jesus before it is too late because you are going to die one day. And my friends, I am pleading with you tonight that if you die without the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ, you're going to go to hell. You're going to face the judgment for your sins. For it is appointed once for man to die and then after that the judgment. It is appointed once for man to die. And then after that, the judgment. It is appointed once. You got one life to live, my friends. You got one chance to lay hold of this precious gift of salvation. You got one chance to come and receive the forgiveness that comes through the sacrifice of the Lord Jesus Christ. It's appointed once, my friend, for you to die. And then after that, the judgment. And today we are pleading with you today. If you hear the message of the Lord Jesus, if you hear the message today, don't harden your hearts. Don't harden your heart to the voice of the Lord. Don't reject the salvation that comes through Jesus Christ because if you do, my friends, you will face God's rejection for all of eternity. For the wrath of God is against all sin. God's wrath is against all sin. And my friends, if you die as a sinner, you are going to face the torments of hell. And today we are pleading with you today to come to the Lord, to turn to the mercy seat of Jesus Christ while you are still alive, to repent and believe the gospel, to repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ to repent and lay hold of God's mercy today. For today is the day of salvation. Today is the day of salvation, my friends. Today is the day to get right with the Lord. Get right with God today, for you're not promised tomorrow. For your life is nothing but a vapor, my friends. You're not in control of your own life. You can be alive today and dead tomorrow. And if you die without the salvation of God, my friends, I am warning you, you will go to hell. Don't be ashamed of Jesus. Don't be ashamed of the gospel and reject the salvation of God only to spend an eternity facing the judgment of your sin. Hell is a place that is designed for punishment, my friends. And there is great suffering that is coming for those who die without the salvation of the Lord Jesus Christ. And today we are out here to plead with you to wake up Miami, Florida. Wake up Miami, Florida because judgment is coming. For God has appointed a day of judgment 
where he is going to judge the world in righteousness through his son Jesus. God has appointed a day where he is going to call up each and every sin that you have committed. He sees all the secret sins. He sees all the sexual immorality. He sees all the pornography. He sees everything that's done in secret. The eyes of the Lord is looking everywhere, my friends. And there is a day of accountability coming. And today I am pleading with you today to repent and believe the gospel. Repent and receive the salvation of God. For the grace of God that brings salvation has appeared to all men, teaching us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust, that we should live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present age. God's grace is available to everyone. But God's grace is not a license to sin. God's grace does not come so that you can just say, hey, I'm a Christian and you live like you want to live. You don't read the Bible. You don't pray. You live like the devil when you claim the name of Jesus. God's grace is not a license to sin. His grace comes to teach us to live holy. His grace comes to teach us to deny ungodliness and worldly lust. That we would live a life of holiness towards God. A life set apart for the kingdom of God. God's grace comes to sanctify us. But we must be willing to come and lay hold of this precious gift of salvation. God is offering grace to all those who are willing to take a step of faith and say, God, have mercy on me, a sinner, for I have sinned. And humble yourself to the Lord Jesus Christ. Humble yourself, Miami, because judgment is coming. God is extending an invitation to all people. God's mercy is offered to anyone who is willing to come to the mercy seat of God, which is Jesus. Jesus shed his blood for the sins of the world. But you must be willing to come. You must be willing to repent. For Jesus said, so likewise, if you do not repent, you are going to perish. That means if you do not repent, you're going to go to hell. You're going to bust hell wide open. And while you are still alive and you hear this message, take heed to the word of the Lord today. Take heed to the word of the Lord today. Repent and turn to the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and that times of refreshing may come from the presence of the Lord.